All right, so here we're subtracting fractions and we're actually solving for x. So what we need to do is find a common denominator. So what we need to do is have what one, what one has, they both have to have. So our common denominator is going to be an x and a 3x plus 1. So all of our fractions are going to need this. Okay, so this first fraction was missing the x part, so I need to multiply that by x. So 2 times x, we get 2x. This first part was missing the 3x plus 1. So that's what we're going to multiply. 1 times 3x plus 1 is 3x plus 1. And this last fraction was missing the x. So 6x times x, I get 6x squared. Okay. Then I'm going to combine these to make one fraction. So I get 3x plus 1 minus 6x squared on the top. I still have x times 3x plus 1. Okay, now that my bottoms are the same, I can set my tops equal to each other. So I get 2x equals 3x plus 1 minus 6x squared. Okay, to solve this, what I need to do is to get everything on to one side. So I need to move, I'm going to move everything to the left side so I can make this one a positive. So I add that to the other side, so I get a positive 6x squared. When I subtract this 3x to move it to the other side, I get a negative x, a 2x and a negative 3x, I get a negative x. And then I'm moving this 1 to the other side, so I'm subtracting the 1, so I get a negative 1 equals 0. Okay, now that I've done that, for me to solve this, I need to break it up into my two parentheses. So to do that, I'm going to do my pyramid. 6 times 1, I get 6, and then I need to get negative 3, so a 3 and a 2. So I'm going to split this up into 6x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 1. Now, any times I have the four terms, I need to group, group the first two, group the last two. And my first set of parentheses, I can pull out a 3 and an x, therefore I'm left with 2x minus 1. Now this already has a 2x minus 1, so I'm just going to pull out a 1. Okay. Now they both have a 2x minus 1, so that's what I'm going to pull out of each one. Therefore, I'm going to be left with a 3x plus 1. And then now to solve to x, now that I have my two parentheses, I can set each of these equal to 0. Okay, so I add my 1 to the other side, I get 2x equals 1, and divide by 2, we get 1 half. Okay, this side we subtract the 1, so we get 3x equals negative 1, and then divide by my 3, I get negative 1 third. So we get an answer of 1 half and negative 1 third.